Family and friends, you've been invited here this beautiful evening to witness the mutual vows uniting Nelson and Sandra in holy matrimony. We celebrate with them a union created by friendship, love, and respect. And as we gather here today for this joyous occasion, let us begin by asking for God's blessing upon us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Heavenly Father, by your heavenly grace, we ask that your blessing descend upon all of us present here today as we celebrate a special love. We call to mind those that are not here with us, but remain present in our hearts and our minds. Father, please bless each of us in our particular petitions and needs. We ask this in the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Love is the life spark that brought the two of you together. Your love will grow and change to adapt to the challenges of your lives. Until today, there have been two lives, and after today, those two lives shall become one. Love has indeed gathered us here today. We're here to celebrate the love. <laughs> We're here to celebrate the love that Nelson and Sandra have for each other, as well as the love that each of you has given them throughout their lives. You see, as family and friends, you are the ones who have taught them how to love. And having planted the seed of love in them, we are gathered here to support them as they begin their life together as husband and wife. Let us think for a moment of the age-old question. Why do people get married? Is it because they have found the true love? Or is perhaps a more complete answer because we need a witness to our own life? And with all the people in the world, how do you affect a single life? In marriage, you are promising to care about everything, the good and the bad. Nelson, you're saying today that your life will not go unnoticed because Sandra will notice. And Sandra, you're saying today that your life will not be without witness because Nelson will be that witness. And together, you will witness the growth of your lives and your family throughout the moments that will take your breath away. I'm honored to be officiating at their ceremony, and I know it means so much to them that all of you who have been a special part of their life are here to celebrate with them as well. If you want to know about their premarital counseling sessions, meet me at the bar after the ceremony. I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> this reading is from 1 Corinthians 13. Primero de Corintios. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. El amor es paciente. El amor es amable. No envidia. No se jactan. No es orgulloso. No es grosero. No es egoísta. No es fácilmente enojado. Y no guarda ningún registro de los errores. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. El amor no se delita en el mal, sino que regocija con la verdad. Siempre protege, siempre confía, siempre espera, y siempre persevera. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappear. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is indeed love. As I was preparing their ceremony, I wanted to find a reading that I thought would be a reflection of their journey that has brought us here today. A reflection of who they are as individuals as well as who they are as a couple. Now the bride and groom didn't know I was going to do this, but I thank them for trusting me. They're getting a little nervous. No need to get nervous. This reading is entitled, 
My Love by Linda Lee Elrod. And it goes something like this. When I first met you, I had no idea how much my life was about to be changed. But then, how could I have known? A love like ours happens once in a lifetime. You were a miracle to me, the one who was everything I had ever dreamed of, the one I thought existed only in my imagination. And when you came into my life, I realized that what I had always thought was happiness couldn't compare to the joy loving you has brought me. You are a part of everything I think and do and feel. And with you by my side, I believe that anything is possible. This day gives me a chance to thank you, to thank you for the miracle of you. You are and always will be the love of my life. We are all reminded that holy matrimony is a sacred union and the exchange of vows before God and witnesses is binding and permanent, and one should be absolutely sure of their decision before making a vow. Recuerden hoy que el matrimonio santo es una unión sagrada. El intercambio de votos antes de Dios y testigos es obligatorio y permanente. Los votos que van a decir en inglés son los siguientes. Hoy te prometo amarte y honrarte toda mi vida, darte mi fuerza y pedirte la tuya, estar a tu lado en la felicidad y en la tristeza. Hacer de nuestro hogar uno lleno de amor y entendimiento. Te doy toda mi confianza y te pido que me aceptes. We're all reminded that holy matrimony is a sacred union. And therefore, one should be absolutely sure of their decision before making a vow. Nelson, I'd like you to look into her beautiful eyes as you repeat after me. I know it's going to be difficult to concentrate, so I'm going to give you two to three words at a time. Sandra. Sandra. Today I promise. Today I promise. To love and honor you. To love and honor you. All of my life. All of my life. To give you. To give you. My strength. My strength. And to ask. And to ask. For yours. For yours. In return. In return. To help you. To help you. In good times. In good times. And in bad times. And in bad times. To be by your side. To be by your side. In joy. In joy. And in sorrow. And in sorrow. To establish a home. To establish a home. One of love and understanding. One of love and understanding. I give you. I give you. All of my trust. All of my trust. And ask you. And ask you. To accept me. To accept me. As your husband. As your husband. I do. <laughs> I do. I do. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> what? Sandra, I'd like you to look into his handsome eyes. Yes. As you repeat after me. Nelson. Nelson. Today I promise. Today I promise. To love and honor you. To love and honor you. All of my life. All of my life. To give you. To give you. My strength. My strength. And to ask. And to ask. For yours. For yours. In return. In return. To help you. To help you. In good times. In good times. And in bad times. And in bad times. To be by your side. To be by your side. In joy. In joy. And in sorrow. And in sorrow. To establish a home. To establish a home. One of love and understanding. One of love and understanding. I give you. I give you. All of my trust. All of my trust. And ask you. And ask you. To accept me. To accept me. As your wife. As your wife. I do. Yeah. <laughs> right. May I have the rings, please? The act of giving and receiving rings reminds us that love itself is an act of giving and receiving. These everlasting circles are the natural symbols for enduring love. They represent to all the bond of marriage into which the two of you are about to enter. It is a symbol of your vow to one another before God, your family, and friends. <clears throat> Place the ring on her finger and repeat after me. Sandra. Sandra. Wear this ring. Wear this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And the sharing. And the sharing. Of our lives together. Of our lives together. I love you. I love you. Place the ring on his finger and repeat after me. Nelson. Nelson. Wear this ring. Wear this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And the sharing. And the sharing. Of our lives together. Of our lives together. I love you. I love you. I love you, baby. <laughs> 
By these rings you symbolize your marriage bond. May that bond sink into your hearts forevermore by devotion and faithfulness to one another. May your home be filled with much love, truth, and happiness. Nelson, I'd like you to look down at your hand for a moment. Notice that it's placed ever so gently over Sandra's. Also notice that your hand is larger than Sandra's. But also know that this is the last time you'll have the upper hand. <laughs> I see we have a few married couples here today and that's great. The bride and groom will now be exchanging some personalized messages with each other, neither one knowing what the other is going to say. Sandra, in you I found my perfect match and I feel so happy to finally have my missing piece in place. You are an extension of me and we continue to share our hopes and ambitions of how our lives should be. I love you not only for who you are, but for who I am when I'm with you. Lost my place. Not only for what you've made of yourself, but for the man you continue to make of me. I promise to continue loving you forever. I promise to continue being your biggest cheerleader, to give you encouragement when you need it, and to show you the same amount of appreciation and respect as you've shown me, to care for you as you've cared for me unconditionally. I so look forward to our future, to growing old with you, because we'll be doing it together. I can assure you they're dying to kiss. <laughs> but we'll be getting there in about two hours, I promise. I'm now going to invite the mother of the bride and the mother of the groom who are going to come up and present a single rose to the bride and groom. Let's give a round of applause to the moms. They look fabulous. The rose has always been considered a symbol of love, and means only one thing, the words, I love you. So it is appropriate that for your first gift as husband and wife, that that gift would be a single rose. At this time, please exchange your first gift as husband and wife. Nelson and Sandra, you both have given and received one of the most valuable and precious gifts of life one I hope you'll always remember, the gift of true and abiding love within the devotion of marriage. And I would ask, wherever you make your home in the future, that you pick one special location for roses, so that on each anniversary, you may go to that spot and exchange roses as a recommitment to your marriage. In every marriage, there are times when it is difficult to find the right words to say, it may be difficult to say some special words. And if that should happen, if you simply cannot find the right words to say, you leave a rose at that spot which you both have selected, the rose that says the words, I still love you. It is at this time that you should reflect on the joy and happiness you both share today. If there is anything you remember of this marriage ceremony, it is that the love that brought you here today is the love which can make it a glorious union and it is by love which your marriage shall endure. Back in the 60s, Pope Paul VI wrote an encyclical letter entitled Humana Vitae, and he talked about the significant friendship that is at the foundation of every marriage. And what he said was the following, in marriage, love is total. That is to say, it is a very special form of personal friendship in which husband and wife generously share everything without undue reservation or selfish calculation. Whoever truly loves his marriage partner loves not only for what he receives, but for the partner's self, rejoicing that he can enrich his partner with the gift of himself. Again, this love is faithful and exclusive until death. Thus, in fact, do bride and groom conceive it to be on the day when they freely and in full awareness assume the duty of the marriage bond. Of fidelity, this which can sometimes be difficult, but is always possible, always noble and meritorious, as no one can deny. 
The example of so many married persons down through the century shows not only that fidelity is according to the nature of marriage, but also that it is a source of profound and lasting happiness. Can you guys repeat what I just said? Yes, ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Join hands. Let us pray. In happiness and joy, we thank Lord God for his blessing of love, which we celebrate today, formally consecrating the love of Nelson and Sandra for each other. May they always rejoice in their love, graced by delight through their mutual affection. O Lord, our God, source of all blessing, fulfill every worthy wish of their hearts and open their eyes to the beauty and mystery of the love they hold for each other every day as today. May their life together embrace and nurture the promise of this moment so that all who know them will call them truly blessed. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Inasmuch as you, Nelson and Sandra, have consented together in holy matrimony and announced it before God and all those gathered here today by the authority vested in me, I do hereby pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the love of your life. And now you can have that one kiss that I owe you. I didn't forget. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. I now present to you Nelson and Sandra Perez.